Hello again, it's me, John. And I am once again here to do a product review today in my kitchen. Today I'm going to be doing a drink review. Now this is actually a drink mix, but it turns into a drink, so it's still a drink review. This product is, uh, I found out of this product through someone I used to work with. Um, her and her family, uh, I believe, own and or run the business. And first of all, it is called Big Mitch Pala Cruda. And what they do is they are a Michelada company. And a Michelada is a beer cocktail. You mix this mix with beer and it's a cocktail so <clears throat> they have four flavors I have two of them on hand today the pineapple mango habanero and the tamarind flavor they also have a regular and a pepino which I believe is like a cucumber flavor but what a Michelada is, is basically a red spicy mix, kind of like a Bloody Mary mix, but uh, it has more of a Hispanic, Latino, Mexican kind of heritage to it. I'm not exactly sure the original roots of it, but Big Mitch is, a, is supposed to be the Chicago's official Michelada mix. And as you can see, these are not full. I have been using these. <clears throat> And I very much like them. But uh, since I kind of knew this person, I didn't want to try them out and then not like them on camera. Um, I guess I had like some type of reservation in my mind that said, like, well, if I, what if I don't like it? I don't want to hurt someone and their business. But I really liked it, so... I wanted to go ahead and make a video for it and just show you how I mix it and tell you what uh, I think of the flavors. So I have this nifty cup that has like a three ounce line. This is the cup that I've been using for these. And for the sake of this review, I'm going to be doing the pineapple mango habanero mix. So let's just shake it up just to make sure all the flavors are mixed up. I'm going to fill it up to that three ounce line. They suggest a one part to three part mix. Um, and if you're doing three ounces of the mix to a full 12 ounce bottle, it's actually closer to one to four. But uh, it's all to taste. That's just what they recommend. What is different about this video is I've tried this with um, Corona, the like Corona Extra, the classic one that you see in America with the clear bottle. And I've tried this with uh, Modelo, the original Modelo. And both of those worked out very well. I've not tried it with this yet, the Pacifico. But this was another one that uh, I was recommended to try with it. Let's go ahead and mix it up. All I do is pour it over the top. I don't really try to mix it with a spoon or anything. But as you can see, I like doing the 3 ounces or 12 ounces because it fills this cup right up to the top. Now, a classic Michelada might have like a spice rim or like a lime wedge in there as well. But I'm just not that fancy. Also, I don't think I've ever even tried Pacifico. I only got it because it was recommended for this mix. Let's go ahead and taste this. It has a lot of like spices that rose to the top here, but I can also see them floating throughout the whole beer. The base for this is a tomato clam juice. And then spiced up with a lot of really fresh ingredients. That's another thing I'm impressed about this is if you read the ingredients list, it's all like real food stuff. 
like pineapple, mango, onion powder, uh, chili peppers, chamoy, which is like a, a, a different type of spice mix. Um, it says it is have clam juice in it, though. If you have allergies or if you're vegan, that might be an issue. Let's go ahead and taste this. This is the pineapple mango habanero variety. It's very refreshing. You get the savoriness from the tomato clam juice. You get some sweetness from that mango and pineapple. But then you have the chili pepper and the, and the habanero. They give it a spicy kick as well. I've really been in my life a fan of Bloody Marys and I really haven't had a lot of micheladas. I think before trying this the only michelada I've ever had was like the Budweiser cans of michelada and I didn't really like those at all. Um, so that's why I was kind of apprehensive about trying this at first on camera knowing that I tried a michelada before and didn't like it. But this is refreshing, and the flavors are really fresh and delicious. You can go to their website, which is the big Mitch, T H E B I G M I C H dot com. Currently is available in stores in the Chicago area. You have to look on the website to see exactly which stores near you it's available. But they also ship nationwide um, through their Facebook and Instagram and social media pages. I think you have to order like a minimum number to get it shipped online. In stores, I think they're like $12 to $13 a bottle. And one of these bottles will make roughly 8 to 10 uh, drinks. Um, the way I've done it, I've basically got 18 beers that I purchased that I think I'm going to get out of these. I've already used eight or so, and these are still about half full. So I think I'm going to, with another eight, definitely finish those out. But, uh, I like the, the mix that I make with this cup. This cup is just convenient for it. But it's just really flavorful and delicious. And I think if you're, if you're a fan of micheladas, this is definitely a go-to mix. If you're a fan of Bloody Marys and you've never had a michelada, this is very similar and easy to make. Um, just this and beer uh, and that's all you have to do really you can make it fancier if you want to but to me it's not necessary it's really good the way it is and uh, that's it this is this is like a, a, a nine and a half out of ten product for me um, going to bring this to a party with the this with like a 12 pack couple with a 24 pack um, yeah, that's all you need. Some cups. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Try out Big Mitch. I'm definitely going to try the other two flavors after I use these. Since they are a fresh product, they have freshness dates on the top of them. So, that's the reason why I didn't get all four to begin with, because I know I wasn't going to be able to finish them all. But I will be trying the other two. There probably won't be a review for the other two just because, you know, I already like them. I know I'm going to like the other ones. It's just a matter of a preference of adjunct flavors you want to add to it. The mango habanero is a sweet and spicy one. The tamarind for me gives it a little more of a tangy tartness to it. But it also has the a little bit of heat to it as well. 
Anyway, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Hope you liked it. Until next time, bye.